Hello Markham neighbors. Let's talk about crime in Markham, shall we? The crimes in questions are number one, sex trafficking of young girls. That's right, in Markham. Number two, sex purchasing of young girls 19 to 25 years of age in Markham. And it's happening, dear neighbors, and I'll tell you why. The body rub operations that you see at retail malls, that's right, the body rub parlors are a lovely front for the trafficking of young women. And typically they are located near or at malls in which you will find a beer store, a Domino's, a dentist, a dry cleaner. Hey, you'll find possibly a restaurant, definitely a convenience store. And there is that parlor, the one with the happy endings, yes. So you can imagine that I'm not talking about registered massage therapists here. I'm not talking many petties here. I'm talking about the joys of the flesh brought to you by the city of Markham. I want to repeat that. Brought to you by the city of Markham because the young girls that are being trafficked to purchasers, John, well, they are licensed by the city of Markham. And that includes also the pimps who operate the body rub parlors. This is known as double pimping. That's right. Markham Council is making money off the pimps and off the girls so that John's losers, also known as purchasers, can commit that crime. And by the way, it is a crime. Please understand, back in 2014, the federal government passed a new law, Bill C-36. Remember, 2014. That new law made the crimes of trafficking and purchasing very serious crimes with jail terms. I'm talking about pimping getting a maximum of 10 years. You know that operator of La Money Spa or Sweet Spa? If he's busted, it's up to 10 years jail term. And for the John who's buying this young lady's sexual services, it's a maximum of five years with fines. So the question becomes, how is it that the city of Markham is aiding in the commission of the crimes committed by the pimps and the purchasers? Well, the city of Markham simply chose to ignore the law when they came into effect in 2014. Ignore the law. They continued to license the pimps who operate the BRPs and they made a ton of money off the girls and the pimps to the tune of 1.2 plus million dollars. Now that's why my two groups, Parents Against Child Trafficking in Markham and the Council of Women Against Sex Trafficking in York Region decided to do an investigation. And yes, the crimes are taking place in Markham with full support from the city of Markham.